I know we're supposed to do this review, but I really want to watch a movie. <laughs> oh, you want to watch a movie and you want to flip a disc? <laughs> I want to watch The Hustler. Oh, what the hell is this thing? This is a CED. <laughs> It's a capacitance electronic disc system. You know what? This is only part two of this movie. <laughs> Where's part one? Part one I don't have. But we're, we're only watching the finish. We're only watching the finish. Oh. There's got to be lots of nudity if it's called The Hustler. Oh, absolutely. I mean, that thing is like bigger than your head. Exactly. And this is not a laser disc. So if you put it in the comments down below that, oh, it's a laser disc. No, you're Ooh. wrong and you're the dumb. <laughs> but this is a CED. And basically what went on here is there was a big ass machine, you figure it's going to be a big ass machine to fit this. Mm. And you would basically take this plastic shell and you slide it into the machine up to about this line right here. And then once you do that, the little mechanism triggers and it pulls the whole disc oh out. Oh my god. And you pull the case out, it's inside playing. And then guess what, about 30 minutes later you got to get up. Stick the some bitch back in, mm. pull it out, turn it upside down, put it back in again, and pull it out again. You gotta earn your movie with a CED, baby. That's right. Oh. So anybody who ever said you get tired of rewinding your VHS tapes, man, shut up. You ain't never known the struggle. <laughs> anyway, welcome to Snack Breeze. This is Brandon from the SAS Snack Food Appreciation Society, along with Hill Will Mahoney. Snack time, Pally. I don't have a CED, but instead today, oh my God, we have a double whammy here. Little Debbie, what have you done? You've given birth to a magical creature here that could be amazing or it could be a total monstrosity. That's right. Nutty Bar plus Zebra Cake, Zebra plus Nutty Bar, what? What? So basically oh. they've taken two of their staple uh, you know, varieties, the Zebra Cake and they've taken the Nut Bar mm -hmm. and they've basically crammed them together mm. and come up with Zebra plus Nutty Bars. That is the worst possible name I could it possibly make for an item. It does not flow off the tongue at all. They should be calling them like zebra bars. <laughs> or something I mean, like that. Something or easy. zebra nuts or something like that. <laughs> New zebras. <laughs> and they oh have a family God. promise on here. These are good till May 18th. I got them from Big Lots. Oh, Big Lots with all your off-brand items that are totally ridiculous like these. That's right. These are very thin and individually wrapped. Okay, yeah, I remember that back in the day, the Nutty Bars used to come two to a thing. Yeah, I got this for a dollar sixty-six. There were three for five. Otherwise, mm -hmm. they had another variety. It was zebra rolls. They had Swiss rolls that had the zebra cake uh, icing on them as well. Okay, that's not nearly as exciting, but they're done. They're the same size as your typical Nutty Bar. Yep. You know, look exactly like it, except they're not coated in chocolate. Okay. They got the white and the. The swirl going on. It's got the crisscross thing going on, yep. the wafer deal, yep. doing the thing. And it's time for us to do the thing. Smell exactly like a nutty bar. Yeah, I don't smell anything different than a nutty bar. Yep. Doesn't really smell like a zebra cake at all. Nope, smells like a nutty bar. Alright. Alright. Crunch. Mm hmm. Slightly sweeter nutty bar. Yeah, it has that creamery taste because it doesn't have the chocolate. It has like the white, you know, frosting on the outside. Mm -hmm. Um, not bad. Mmm. Mmm. I think the thing I'm not sure about is I don't think I particularly like the peanut butter part with it. That's the typical nutty bar part. Yeah, and see, you didn't like the peanut butter either from the last one we did. But... Yeah, yeah. Well, those were heavy and dense. This isn't yeah. heavy and dense like those. These are nice and light and airy. I think the peanut butter goes better with this combination, but mm -hmm. it's still not a very pungent peanut butter flavor. It's a kind mm -hmm. of artificially flavored like uh, mm -hmm. E.T. cereal back in the day. Ooh, good pull there. Yeah. You know what? I think, I think zebra cakes. Zebra cakes had the uh, cream. You know, mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. I would like these to straight up be nutty bars, the nutty bar cookies, but with replace the peanut butter with that zebra cream. There you go. That's what I want these to be, and they'd be a total home run. Because the peanut butter, I get why they're doing it, it's in the way. It doesn't belong. No. It tastes like a zebra cake with that texture. Give me that cream inside, and this would be light. It'd be nice. The, the peanut butter's weighing it down, and it doesn't belong here. I like it otherwise, though, but because of that, Gotta knock it down a bit. Um, I can only go half on them because I'm not digging the peanut butter. Change it up that other way, I'll probably go full thumbs up on these and be all about them. Yeah, I just don't like the artificial flavor of the mm. peanut butter overall. It has, like I said, that old mm -hmm. school cereal taste to it. It's peanut butter cereal, not like real peanut butter. Mm -hmm. uh, and you're right, it probably would taste awesome with just the cream as though it were a zebra cake but with the wafers. Exactly. Yeah. 
that would probably be pretty good. So uh, come up with some zebra bars, mm -hmm. uh, little Debbie. Yeah. And I think he'd make us happy. I think I'm going to go a little higher than him and give it a five-eighths. Because okay. it's just, you know, it's all right. And, uh, Big bowl of eye. Yeah. Uh, the Hall of OK. So, <laughs> you know, not the Hall of Fame. But either way, you know, dollar sixty-six. Not Nothing wasted. I'll probably mm -hmm. eat all of them. Or, you know, I'll send some home with him, give them to the kid there. It's just about uh, as good as a CED. Yeah. <laughs> it, well, I mean, you can at least still eat these. Like, you can't really play the CED anymore unless you have the machine. And I don't think you do. And that's only good for 30 minutes. Exactly. And <laughs> what you do have, though, is the Facebook. And on, oh. the, on the Facebook, there's a group that you should join called the SAS, Snack Group Appreciation Society Facebook group. Why aren't you a member of that group? Join it, please. Also, follow us on Twitter, at Brandon Rick SAS, and at Hewa Mahoney, as well as on the Instant Grams. Ooh, yes, you need to take those handles, at Brandon Rick SAS, at Hewa Mahoney. Use them on the Twitter machine. Use them on the Instant Grams. Always use those things, and when you do, you tie it all together with one all-important thing. You, you hulk up and you use the hashtag Snack Society all day, every day, baby. You need to use that, because you use that to bring us all together as we continue on our venture to the top of the mountain, all the way top of the social media universe the zenith if you will oh and in the meantime you gotta like you gotta favorite you gotta share and you gotta subscribe because they're the four horsemen of youtube mm. and in the meantime in between time we'll see you next time bye bye zebra kid